Example 3. x times y prime minus y equals x times tangent of y over x. First of all, let's write down this equation in the form we are already used to. Remembering that y prime is actually equal to dy over dx. So, x times dy over dx minus y equals x times tangent of y over x. Now let's see what we can do about it. x times dy over dx equals y plus x times tangent of y over x. x times dy equals y plus x times tangent of y over x dx and then y plus x times tangent of y over x dx minus x times dy equals 0. And this way we completed the first step. We wrote down the given equation in the form we have written in red. So the equation we're dealing with is y plus x times tangent of y over x dx minus x times dy equals 0. Now we should check if this equation is homogeneous or not. And to do this, we need to consider the p of x, y and q of x, y functions. Obviously, p equals y plus x times the tangent of y over x. And q equals negative x. P of tx and dy equals dy plus tx times the tangent of dy over tx. Obviously, t can be factored out, which leaves us with t multiplied by y plus x times the tangent of y over x. And the expression we have in the brackets is nothing else than the initial function p of x, y. So we can write t multiplied by p of x and y. Now let's take a look at the q function. So q of tx and ty equals negative tx which is the same as t multiplied by q of x y function the initial one so this means that the q function is homogeneous of the first degree as well as p is so therefore our equation is homogeneous and we can move to step 3.
make a substitution u equals y over x once y equals u times x and y I'm sorry dy is found as du times x plus dx times u step 4 we put the variable into our equation and solve the equation for t for u now we put u times x instead of y u times x plus x times the tangent of u dx minus x times dy which is equal to this expression du times x plus dx times u this whole thing equals zero we can divide both left and the right by x so we'll obtain u plus tangent of u minus I'm sorry, I forgot about dx we should not do that and then we have minus du times x and minus dx times u equals 0 now we can open these parentheses so we have u times dx plus tangent of u times dx minus du times x minus dx times u equals 0 we can factor out dx which leaves us with u plus tangent of u minus u dx minus x times du equals 0 u and negative u are gone and this leaves us with the following equation tangent
come a little bit slower. Okay. And then I need more space. So we have the result of the integral on the left, which is ln of the epsilon value of x plus the constant equal to the result of the integral on the right, which is written right here, which is natural logarithm of the epsilon value of sine of u. And finally, step number five, where we return to the y variable. So the final answer is ln of the epsilon value of x plus the constant equals ln of the epsilon value of sine of y over x 